All right, so day one, uh, the planning phase to install all the custom upgrades on the board. And uh, what I've done so far is add more Velcro to the right side of the board. Um, decided to move these two down so I can add additional pedals or power brick in the future to the top. And uh, the biggest thing with, with planning and laying everything out beforehand is to minimize wasting material or cutting your board somewhere you shouldn't have. Then you're basically uh, screwing up everything you've done so far. Um, laying out all my parts so I know what's going on. So package of rubber feet from Dunlop, um, lava patch cables. This will be the first time ever using these solderless ones, so I'm really excited to use this. Got with uh, West Coast uh, pedal boards, and they hooked me up with some really cool um, wiring harnesses. So this one is a power cable, and it's fitted with an IEC uh, attachment to 110. This is their new modulating system. Uh, so the modular system is fitted uh, to basically give you a little more options. IEC port to a light and on-off switch to a Deutsch connector. And what's cool about the Deutsch connector is I can choose to use this one, uh, which is Deutsch to IEC for a power brick, or Deutsch to a uh, power strip, so I can just use the two power supplies that I only need right now. And um, the biggest thing is laying everything out, you know, we're going to cut the holes right now, which is the biggest part. Uh, I went ahead and installed all of the lava cables, um, the right angles jacks. And what that does is allow me to see how I'm going to space the pedals out, and also, for right now, we're going to be cutting my holes, so that way I can feed the jacks um, properly. On the back of my board, I went ahead and installed the same thing, and these little black marks are where I'm going to be cutting the finger joints with the uh, jigsaw, that way the cables can feed under the board as well. And uh, a lot of this planning is just making sure you're going to be putting parts you know, in the right place. So aside from that, when we start doing all the adjustments and cuts, I'm going to have a time-lapse video, and that way we can kind of speed the process along and we'll do a uh, final video afterwards of a review. So one thing about <laughs> making adjustments on boards, uh, originally when I built this board I wasn't planning on having any type of wiring harness on it, um, but since I am going to install um, base with the jacks, um, right where that black circle is is where I'm going to be drilling um, the hole. The problem with that is that it's going to be interfering with this screw. So with that you have to kind of think out of the box. So I'm going to remove the screw, and do some wood filler, and then I'm going to add an L bracket um, underneath the board to support it. And uh, as you can see I've done a lot of uh, drawings underneath and uh, this is all part of figuring things out. So originally these little light marks underneath is where I was going to put the jacks that didn't work out with wiring harness uh, the way with at least with the amount of wire spacing I had um, on the bottom where I was going to put the uh, power strip um, I'm gonna flush out right where the feet are and so I don't want to be smacking a power adapter against the floor so with that I'm going to recess uh, this portion of the uh, slats um, an eighth of an inch into it and that way when I seat in the connector I'll have enough gap between the floor and the power adapters um, to basically clear it and not smack it against and destroy it so I have to buy some more. Um, you know these are all part of planning things out to make sure you're not making any mistakes along the way so just keep that in mind sometimes when you're building stuff um, you don't think of everything in the moment and when you go to adjust things you kind of have to start planning differently and making adjustments along the way.